Let's graph the linear equation for y equals 2 thirds x minus 1. We're going to do it two ways. First, we'll do a table of values, plot those on our graph. Then we'll use slope-intercept formula to check our work. So we can put values in for x. A good place to start is always 0. So 2 thirds times 0, that's just 0. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. We want to choose values that will fit on the graph paper. It would be nice if they were whole numbers. So if we put 3 in for x, 2 thirds times 3, that's just 2 minus 1. So that would give us 1. Likewise, if we put a negative 3 in for x, 2 thirds times negative 3, that's a negative 2. Negative 2 and a negative 1, that gives us a negative 3. So these are the points we'll graph for the equation y equals 2 thirds x minus 1. So let's go x is 0, y is negative 1. x is 0, y is negative 1. Then we have x is 3, y is 1. And finally, we have negative 3 for x, negative 3 for y. Negative 3, negative 3. You can see the points all line up. We could have used just two points, but this way, if we made a mistake, we would have caught ourselves. Let's put a line through this. Then we can put arrows to show that this goes to infinity. So this is the graph for y equals 2 thirds x minus 1. Let's check our work with slope intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b. b, that's the y intercept, and that's negative 1. So the line should cross the y axis at negative 1. And right there, it does. So that makes sense. For the slope, m, that's 2 thirds. We could think of this 2 thirds as rise over run. So we go to our y-intercept, we rise 1, 2, and go over 1, 2, 3. That's right on our line. We could go from there, rise 1, 2, and go over 1, 2, 3. That would be on the line. We could even go in the opposite direction. We get to the y-intercept, go down 1, 2, and over 3 to the left. And that's on our line as well. So we know we did the first part correctly. This is the graph for y equals 2 thirds x minus 1. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.